Good morning. I'm not sure you can hear me out here because it's very windy, but this is where I'm going. It's with, with this person. <laughs> this lunatic. <laughs> I published a video yesterday and lots of you said that I, when I was talking about doing a full Marks and Spencer shop with me, a lot of you said that you would like to see one. So, we've come to the biggest Marks and Spencer in Christendom. Christendom? Is that where I live now? Yes. Where is it's Christendom? What, Clo what very that close to Bristol. What does that phrase mean? I think it was the entire world, wasn't it, oh, at one point? Christendom, yeah. It was like in the world. I don't know, but we'll Google there it later. Yes. Oh, that looks so Oh, that's nice. I bet these jewels, the jewels one's always nice. Jewels? Jewels sofas are always super. You might suspense us some jewels things? It might not be. I might, I might be making it like up. Jewels as in the stripy clothes yeah, company? They do so gorgeous sofas. And they they do make sofas. They do. And you would love oh. them. I, I like the colour of this. Very spring-like, isn't it? It's nice. Mm. And the chair, nice. But all the greenness is nice. I'm discombobulated because we've come in at the home bit. And, um, oh, look at the black one with the mustard cushions. That's nice. Usually you come into the clothes bit in the Marks and you don't mind Marks and Spencers anyway. That's lovely as well. Oh, everything looks so fresh and nice and spring-like in here. Lovely. Right, we're going to have a little game in here. <laughs> I did not study for the quiz. You've got to find the... Oh yes, that's a jewel sofa. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. We've got to find the most overpriced item, our favourite item, and the ugliest item. Okay. I found the ugliest item. <laughs> no! I don't think I'm overpriced, but I am also my favourite item. How much are you? I'll tell you if you're overpriced. 5p. Underpriced. I'm underpriced. Yeah, you're worth at least 7p. 7p? Is that an hour or completely? <laughs> I was telling Carla about this yesterday. Marks and Spencer's got a whole range of bee things in because Natalie's really into bee things. Look at that plate, isn't that lovely? With the little trail. They've expanded the range since I last saw it. There's loads in here. Oh, I love the lemon mug. Set of four for 12 50 That's not bad, is it? That's very um, summer spring-like again. It all, all feels very fresh and spring-like in here. And I like the star bowls. Oh, they're lovely. How much are those? £9.50 for that one. And they've got a slightly smaller one up there, which is £7.50. That table setting is nice, isn't it? I like the wicker placemats. Quite countryside -y. Nice. This colour combo, I've seen a lot of places they have the same colour combo in B&M when we were in there yesterday, the navy and yellow, and I saw similar in John Lewis as well, which was really nice as well. Quite like it, and they've got a little bit of dusky pink in with it there. It's actually quite, quite a nice colour combination that, I like it. Percy Pig gets everywhere, look he's in a mug there. I'm not sure how I feel about gold cutlery. Feels a bit wrong to me. Is that just because we're so used to silver cutlery? Let me know what you think on gold cutlery. It would look quite nice on a table, but I'm just not, it just feels a bit weird. Oh, I love the green placemats. They've got them in pink and grey as well. I've actually got grey ones without an edge. You're... I pushed that onto your board for my birthday last year. Oh, it's lovely. It's nice. I love this, the little bubbly edge. Throws. There's something appealing about throws, isn't there? Yeah. Do you know what I think? It's because we want to spend all our time in bed for the rest of our lives. I actually think it is, it's just coziness and yeah. loveliness. They feel nice as well. They feel lovely. Oh God. Again, they're the kind that wouldn't work Yeah, they get the, it's the... If you've the, got dogs, then the hair gets in Also, there they're the kind that um, when you wash them, they never come it's out the really same. Kind of yeah, they sort of, it all sticks together. This is nice as well. Yeah. 
no, I, ca I, ca I can't with fleece bedding. I it's just can't. That is lovely. I love the design, yeah. but the thought of fleece bedding. My niece has got fleece bedding, and it makes me just thinking about it makes me perspire. What did you do today? I stroked everything in Mark's head. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Those are nice, just like a soft trouser, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Tapered. Yeah, I like those. I feel like they'd be nice for the summer. Twenty-two fifty. That's. I like the ones behind as well. Marks and Spencer's has weird pricing. That's slightly thicker. I think their pricing is so weird. Some things like the jeggings are 15 quid, which I think is quite reasonable. They're yeah. nice quality. And then you look at a jumper. Are that's £12.50, and yet these yeah. type of ones, which are very, very 22 similar, 50. are 22 50. That's a huge difference. Yeah, that is. Bizarre. Um, oh, well. Mine is not. I've, I've always said this about Marks and Spencer's pricing. No rhyme or reason. Oh, should we go and look at the fitness section? <laughs> <laughs> the alarms are off when we step inside it. We intruder alert, intruder alert. <laughs> <laughs> we probably need to after yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday we made a Biscoff cheesecake and I put it into my NutriCheck app and worked out the calories and it worked out at 1600 and something per slice, which was a bit horrific since we'd eaten it by then. However, I realised later on that my app had calculated it at four portions and we actually got seven. So it only, it's, it's a mere 900 calories per slice. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> it was an extravaganza of a cheesecake, it was, was it Anthony, not? Anthony sent me a message going, I better not breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Worried about what might happen if he breathed afterwards. Oh look, more leggings. But those ones are 25 pounds. You see, that's weird, isn't it? They're probably... Stretchy, they? anti sweat, wicky way ones. Oh, God. <laughs> wicky way. Wicks, wicky way. Wicky way. Yeah. way. Oh, they've got a big beauty department Absolutely in your Marks and Spencers. And be too tight again. Because it's only 22 and it's linen, so there's no stretch. It. It's nice, though, isn't it? Yeah, I really like it. That would be nice over a swimming costume on holiday as well. Yeah. I remember holidays. Yes. Oh, that's nice as well, the black and white one. Okay. Nice. Starting to get quite a lot of beachwear bits in for the summer. This is quite nice, not me, but um, broderie anglaise sort of maxi dress. Imagine one wafting around the pool in that. 49.50 seems pricey for months, but everywhere seems pricey to me now too used to shopping in charity shops i like this i don't like that for me the pink belted sort of shirt dress but i can see that would be nice i was like this is nice the loose fit um blue blouse 25 for that one Oh, they've still got these. I bought these last year and they ended up being... If you are going to buy these, they are very big. Size down, definitely, because mine are too big for me than my normal size. Not sure how I feel about jeans with cuffs around the bottom. Don't think I'm a fan of that. Now, I saw these stripy tops in my Marks and Spencers the other day, and I think they are lovely. I love this yellow stripe. It's sort of a thick, t it's not quite a sweatshirt material, but thicker than t-shirt material, and I really like it. And then they've got a different colourway with the blue, with a yellow stripe through it as well. I think they're 25. Yeah, 25 for those. Very nice. I'm keen on those. They feel nice quality as well, which... Let's be honest, Marks has um, gone down in quality, hasn't it, over the last couple of years. They've got lots of stripy tops, lots of different sort of um, thin stripes there and thicker ones, sort of the Breton tops they're called, aren't they, with all different stripes, but obviously stripes are in every year, aren't they, but um, particularly this year it seems. There's a lot of slogan type sweatshirts and tops. I, I, I'm not massive for me on a slogan top. It feels, I don't know, it feels like quite a youthful vibe that I don't think I carry off 
or could carry off particularly well but it's obviously quite a thing because there's a lot of them around another one another one here and a nice stripe down there it's pink oh the colors off a bit but um these feel like an um quite nice quality sort of long line open front cardigan that's 29.50 so a little bit more than the primark ones at a tenner but they do feel nice of quality they've got one in a lilac there as well that i'd be tempted with possibly but um yeah i like that one that would have gone very nicely with the dress that i've just taken back because it didn't look nice on me black and pink leopard print cardigan at 17.50 and there's a lot of this um you see that sustainable viscose on a lot of labels around here i don't quite know what sustainable viscose is but um it's obviously something they want to make a thing of lots more of these long line open front cardigans edge to edge open front whatever you want to call them they've all got pockets as well lots of different colors Bit of Mickey Mouse there, if you fancy some Mickey Mouse. This is cute, little pink jumper with sort of a diamond pattern. It is 25, bit of an oversized vibe, and uh, so many of the things in here are cropped, or everywhere are cropped, but that is a proper length, which is nice. Well, that's a bit of a vibe for spring, isn't it? Lovely bold print, lovely and bright. Not sure it would be for me. But there's a strange woman over there. Found you your best dress for spring. Look at this. Slight shape, those sides a bit then split yeah. open. This is nice. It's very soft as well. Yeah. Feel how soft that is. 22.50. Stripey, quite long line. In a non striped version. Yeah, I reckon they'd be a bit clingy around the middle, but nice, aren't they? Mm. That's nice. I like a geometric print. Nice belted dress. 50 £59? That seems pricey to me. Deeply unpleasant. Yeah. Not a fan. Deeply unpleasant. I was about Sorry to say, I was about to say that's a horrible colour and I just recall that I have top that colour in my wardrobe. Or it's olive. not quite chartreuse. Yeah, I think it's more olive, isn't it? There's a um, blouse in the geometric print as well. Okay. Yes, they're nice. The ones with the elastic bottoms. No, I don't. I've just seen like some it. jeans with elastic yeah. bottoms, which is definitely not me. What material is it? Feel really bamboo. Could be bamboo. <laughs> That's another nice colour scheme. I talked about this when I did my brief little trip into Marks and Spencers the other day. The blue and yellow. They've got a whole section. Well, it's mostly. I was going to say it's mostly blue, but actually this section has got a lot of yellow in it. But um, yeah, lots of blue and yellow, which is a nice spring combo. I think this might be my least favourite item. It's very uh, so 80s. Very yeah, it's not in a good way either. It looks itchy as well. I like that fabric, that yeah. really soft jersey. It's nice, yeah. isn't it? I don't yeah. know if it would be flattering on me because, again, I've got far too much tummy. So where that gathered in, I think it would accentuate yeah. the tummy. I think if you were a flat person. Yeah. Which I have never been. quite like that print. Quite nice for a wedding or something, isn't it? Not only fond of the neckline. I'm just being critical yeah. now, but that yeah. neckline's quite nice. It's on the model, I mean, so. Oh, yeah. Would you like to see that on a model? Well, I think the neckline's not quite as high as it looked on the hanger. Not sure. I care the shoes. No. <laughs> Carla's just found a hoodie she likes, it's really but it's nice. pure cashmere. Pure cashmere. I haven't looked at the price yet. 129, I'm guessing. Not far off. 190. <gasps> oh, bargain! <laughs> I can't imagine me owning very many 119 pound cashmere. The trouble with the cashmere is as well. You, you, yes, it, it bubbles horribly. You know, well, okay, it's soft, but I don't really get the cashmere hype, to be honest. I've never. Gentle machine, warm wash. Do not tumble dry. I would tumble dry it immediately because I would forget. If I put that anywhere near a washing machine, it would come out the size of one for a Tiny Tears doll. <laughs> Just, but without even needing to turn the washing machine on. Very expensive way of making dolls. <laughs> I still haven't found jeggings. I'm looking for jeggings. Lots of lilaciness. I've just picked up this one to buy, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But um, yeah, lots of lilac in here. I'm very much enjoying the whole lilac thing. Not sure about those trousers though. Quick whiz around the shoe department. 
I think Marks and Spencer shoes have really gone up in price. My mum was saying this as well. And um, I thought, I just don't think they're good value for money anymore. Even non-leather ones are like 40 odd quid. Quite like little spotty trainers, they're quite fun. 22.50 for those, could be worse. Black ones are quite cute as well. 29.50 for those. Classic court shoes. <laughs> no? It's not nude, it's not blush, it's something like blue or lush. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I haven't found the shoe department in Marks and Spencers inspiring for a long time. I find it very blur. I do quite like them. That's all right. Yeah, quite like yeah, that. I don't wear the kind of outfit that you wear them anyway. Don't go anywhere or do anything like that. She acted over the friend. <laughs> oh yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Right, we're just making our way out of the shop. We've spotted this um, iridescent glass, which is really nice. Vases, thank you, for, thank you, lovely. They really, really nice thick glass. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, but nine pound fifty for a biggish vase. I think that's that's, really that's a really good price. price. Best value for money item, I think. Best value for money item. Most expensive item commensurate with what it was, I think it was those trousers because the yeah. leggings were ten pound cheaper and there wasn't much difference between yeah. them. Yeah. Very so weird pricing. They do weird pricing in Marks and Spencer. Really Most hideous item we didn't <laughs> No, I think it might have been the quilted anorak that I didn't um That's film. A yeah. The quilted anorak we did, like, wasn't good. Oh yes, that was yeah the purple and pink one. Why are all jumpers so short as well? I can't be dealing with all this it's all cropped. Isn't cropped. It? Natalie, says, Natalie says she gets in a shop and she goes, oh, that's nice. Where's the rest of it? Yeah, and she's twenty-five. Yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly. Hello there, future editing Caroline here. I was, I've just realised I didn't film any sort of outro for this video or indeed do a haul. There wasn't much of a haul. I only bought two items. Um, having a bit of a, not a panic, but I had another video due to go up today and that one's been delayed for various reasons. So I've just quickly edited this one, which was supposed to go up in a few days, um, to go up now. So what I'm gonna do is include the items that I bought. I've got sort of a collective haul video coming up um, again in the next few days, not over next week or so, not sure where that will come, but I will show you what I bought from Marks and Spencers in that collective haul video. So um, apologies for not getting it on the end of here. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye bye.